Hi, you're here because you want to get better at estimating, and unfortunately our human brains aren't great at estimating, but we do have a trick up our sleeve. We are good at something called relative estimation. You see, we humans aren't great at giving exact estimates, especially when it comes to saying something that will take a certain number of weeks or months. We often find that our guesses were way off and we might finish the task a lot later than expected. This means we don't hit our deadlines and we've set expectations that we can't meet, causing stress and disappointment. This is something that we absolutely need to avoid. Let me know in the comments if this scenario seems familiar. All right, team, we need to talk. The deadline for the new feature was today and it's not finished. What happened? We had a commitment to our clients and we're not meeting it. They are not happy. It's been a challenging ride, boss. We hit unexpected roadblocks and underestimated the time some tasks would take. Roadblocks. We agreed on the scope, and I expected you to manage it properly. What happened? We thought we could handle it without causing alarm. We didn't anticipate the complexity of a few tasks, and it threw our estimates off. This is not acceptable. We made promises to our clients, and now we're not delivering. I need solutions, not excuses. Putting in extra hours is not a sustainable solution. It leads to burnout and subpar work. We need a plan to get this feature back on track. Excuse me, everyone. I've been hearing the conversation, and I want to propose a solution. It's called Agile Estimation. Agile Estimation is a method that focuses on relative sizing. People are much better at relative sizing than trying to determine timeframes. So we relatively size our tasks. So instead of committing to specific deadlines, the team estimates the complexity of tasks by comparing estimated effort of those tasks to previous tasks that have been done. This approach allows for more accurate estimating and a way to prioritize based on value versus effort required. We can use story points rather than timeframes. Predictability is what we need. I'm willing to give this a shot. Team, let's embrace this agile estimation process and get back on track. We can't afford to keep missing deadlines. One thing we are good at as humans is comparing tasks. If we think of one task or job will take twice as long as something that we've done before, we're usually not too far off with that estimation. This is called relative estimation, and it's something that we're quite good at. So how can we use this ability to compare tasks to improve our estimation during a project? In agile estimation, we use something called story points. A story point is a kind of made up unit of time that a team or person uses, and it's specific to that team. The idea with story points is to get away from thinking about exact time estimates and instead focus on comparing tasks. So consider your previous tasks and write them on some cards. We start by finding the quickest and slowest tasks and giving them a low and high point score. The interesting part is that we can use the Fibriachi sequence, which goes 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, etc. These numbers make our estimates more accurate because each number is about 60% larger than the one before it. And our human brains have been found to be more accurate when using this scale. So what we do is we put the shortest task at the bottom of the scale and the longest task at the top of the scale. And then we consider how much more effort and time it took for the longest task versus the shortest task. Let's say it was 30 times longer. So we would want to give it a score of 60, which to the Fibriachi sequence would be close to 55. Then we place all the other tasks, which are going to come somewhere between the shortest and the longest task onto the scale. And we can figure out our relative story points via the Fibonacci sequence. Now we have an understanding of what our story points are in terms of relative effort. Now let's take a look at value points. If story points estimate how long a task takes, value points tell us how important that task is. This dual perspective is critical in Agile, where the goal is to deliver value early and often. Assigning a value point score involves a process similar to that of story points. A low value task and a high value task set the boundaries of the scale and the other tasks are then positioned in between proportionately. This gives each task both a story point and a value point. This is really going to help when it comes to determining which tasks to do next. Should the team go for the quick, less important tasks or prioritize longer, high value tasks? There's also a third metric here called the bang for the book score. 
It measures the value per story point, helping teams to identify tasks that give them the most value in the shortest time. Calculating the bang for the book score involves dividing value points by story points. This creates a list of tasks ordered from the highest to the lowest on the bang for the book score. Just remember it's perfectly natural for you to have difficulty in the first sprint at the start of the project or development because you have less information to base your estimates on. But if you keep inspecting and adapting this process sprint by sprint as time goes by, you should be getting more accurate and that's really going to help with your estimations, setting expectations and ability to prioritize the backlog of work. If you enjoyed my teaching style and you want to learn more about agile estimation with an example, then you can find them on my courses on udemy or learnmanagementonline.com.